I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Another episode of our How It All Works StreamYard Academy. And I'm hoping that you have found value thus far. If this is your first time checking us out because of the topic, and we wanna make sure you go back and check out some of the other ones. We've got some really good content for you, not just with StreamYard, but also with graphics. And then further down the line, later in the month, we're gonna have some stuff on Ecamm as well. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at optimizing your sound, optimizing your sound. Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna do right now is actually change my mic. So right now I'm using the microphone that's in front of me. I'm just gonna swap through a couple of different microphones. So this is the microphone on the camera. It's not the microphone that's on the camera that I'm using. How does that sound? How does that sound everybody? Okay. Uh, this is the MacBook Pro microphone. So we just switched to the MacBook Pro microphone and see, for me, nothing has changed. I'm still monitoring what I sound like off of this microphone in my in-ears and I just, nothing has changed. And this is why it's so critical to optimize your sound by knowing exactly what you are using for your stream. Um, I'm gonna switch it one more time. Let's see here. I'm gonna shift to a camera. The microphone way behind me, that, that, that red dot right there. That it, it's, it's got to sound like I'm in a tunnel right now, right? Um, and, and again, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to this microphone. So now we're back on the right microphone. You see, this is what why I wanted to go through that is because I wanted you to kind of get a feel for what is optimizing your sound sound like, right? Sometimes you're going to actually have to go through and record yourself on the different microphones and then listen to it back and say, I kind of like that. I don't like this. Different things that you can do within the system to optimize your sound. So let's take a look at one other thing real quick here. So I'm looking at my setting screen on a Mac. Now on your Windows machines, you gotta find where you can actually change your input and output. So on the Mac, you go to system preferences and then you click on sound. And so here you're seeing output is set right now uh, to Ecamm Live App Powered Audio. Uh, output really should be set to my air 1924 and my input should be the exact same thing and you can see that that thing is registering right now and in terms of different things I'm, I'm hearing on the system and so those two settings need to be there because that's my primary soundboard for this computer for my live stream and i want to make sure that i show you that because if your defaults are off you're going to see when we get into Streamyard that those defaults are going to mess some things up but before we dive into Streamyard, i want to show you one or two other things so what you're seeing right now is my desk, right? You're, you're seeing my stream deck, but this is my, my soundboard. This is the Air 1924. It is what my Shure MV7, this mic is plugged into. Um, it is also what my headphones are plugged into. Let me show you those real quick. There they are. You can see, if you look behind me, you see my headphones are there and those are in the, the, we'll put a link in the description for you to be able to find some of the gear that I use, but this is my soundboard. This is where audio comes in. It's where I direct traffic, if you will. And so this not only allows me to monitor what I'm, what, what I sound like, but it also allows me to hear my guests inside StreamYard. So you want to make sure you are very much comfortable with how you're managing that sound, that piece of the sound. And yours may be simpler. Maybe you just have the MV7, uh, which is USB also, right? And so you can just plug this directly in and you can actually put a a, uh, a headphone. It's, this has a headphone jack on the bottom of it. So you can actually put a, put a headphone into it and then monitor your sound that way. And then you would, again, go back to this scene here and make sure that your MV7 is set as the mic for both input and output so that you can monitor that. So that's what you wanna do there. Again, one of the other critical things that I'm gonna show you inside StreamYard is that you must have on headphones. Having headphones is critical for you to optimize your sound. You must have on headphones to optimize your sound. So here we are, finally, right? Four minutes into the video, we're, in, we're finally into StreamYard. I'm gonna enter my test room. And right as we get ready to enter the test room, I'm gonna show you some settings just as we come in on entry. So go to cam mic, and we're gonna to go to audio. So here you can see default, right? Air 1924, that's the default, and you can see that we're picking up audio from that mic. But here, you, you, I've got every mic on my system is in this, in this dropdown list. So you gotta make sure that you have this thing optimized, that you make sure you're selecting the one that you actually want to select. 
And don't just don't just take, you know, <laughs> don't just trust that it's going to work. Um, same thing for your speaker. You want to make sure that you have a way to monitor what your stream sounds like, what people you have as guests in the system sound like. But the other thing here in terms of getting good quality sound for my faith based folks, for everybody that does the larger productions, when you have a soundboard going into your uh, your stream yard instance uh, your StreamYard platform you want to make sure you turn off echo cancellation and you turn on stereo audio and we can we can hover our mouse over this thing you can read this on your own time i'm not going to take a whole lot of time here because i have a video specifically just on this one setting but and you can hover over stereo audio this is this is how you level up this is how you get original sound into your streaming platform so if my rule of thumb is this simply if you have a way of controlling the gain on your microphone or on the microphone of everybody in your system, then you want to be able to make sure they have headphones. That's a critical piece. And not only make sure you have headphones, make sure the headphones are the speakers that you have set in the system, right? So you can see here that there is a long list here. So we want to make sure that the headphones, which is this it, headphones are plugged into the de default, which is the AR1924. My headphones are where the audio is going to go to. So I can't tell you how many times people have on headphones, but the headphones are not selected. And so people are like, I can, I can, I have the headphones on, but I, I'm hearing you elsewhere. Or they don't even realize that they're hearing that hearing me through their, their laptop or through their speakers and not through their headphones. You want to make sure that that's selected. So this is rule number one in terms of optimizing your sound, making sure that you have echo cancellation off making sure stereo audio is on. But in order to do that, you've got to have headphones. Everybody that's in the system on your side, right? Not guests on your side need to have headphones. And so now that we have that thing set, I'm going to go ahead and enter the studio. And I have um, already added to the studio uh, my other camera, which is uh, the top down shot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add both of these to, to the screen and change that. You see what that looks like there. And for those that didn't catch the Graphics Academy, we showed you how to do all of this stuff in the Graphics Academy, um, how to do the background, how to create the overlays. I'm going to put an overlay up right now. So this is overlay number one. <laughs> this is overlay number two with the with the lower thirds. And then this is overlay number three with a banner. And so you have different things that you can do there. But the thing here I want, to, want you to see is that as the host, the second thing that you can do to optimize your sound in StreamYard is to be able to come to your guest, the three dots on the guest um, um, square on the bottom of your system, hit that three dots, click on edit mic settings. Now you can control that. So you can say to your guests, do you have on, do you have on headphones? Uh, okay, good. Let me go ahead and turn off echo cancellation so we can have a much more natural conversation. Um, being able to turn off echo, echo cancellation not only gives you a bigger pipe for audio, especially for my, my, my bands and artists and musicians who want to get that bigger pipe, but it also it allows for a more natural conversation. So if you're talking with somebody, you, you notice that it's kind of like your audio is stepping on one another. So when they laugh while you're talking, it kind of kind of comes in and out. That's because the echo cancellations are fighting one another. So you want to make sure that you have echo cancellation off. But again, I can't stress this enough. You've got to have on headphones. You've got to have on headphones. And another thing that's really cool, if I, this has happened to me multiple times. Somebody will be in my stream and it's like they don't necessarily have a pro microphone, so they can't control the gain. People are saying in the comments, we can't hear your guest. You can come in here, uncheck, automatically adjust mic volume and just dial that thing up. And that allows, again, for that to be heard in the system. So I'm hoping that this is useful to you, hoping that, that, that something here kind of resonated with you. Something here showed you that, man, I can level up my audio in these ways in StreamYard. So that's it. <laughs> Another one's in the books. I'm hoping that you're sticking with us. Man, we are making our way through this, this challenge, this 30, 31 day challenge that we're in. Um, the Graphics Academy, StreamYard Academy, and we still have yet to come the Ecamm Academy. And, and listen, I'm hoping that something in the video was helpful, but uh, not only if it was helpful, I want to make sure that you guys are sharing this content. Like, don't just, you know, consume it and say, man, that was good. You probably have some people in your sphere of influence, in your circles that need this content, this inf information themselves. Why not share it with them as well? So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope that you'll come back because tomorrow we're going to be talking about optimizing your shared screen or your shared video. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.